Hey y'all, Katrina here with Gal Gone Camping, and I am doing a redo uh, <laughs> on my recent uh, bed redo in my minivan. Um, slept on it all night. It was okay, but uh, not just not going to work for me exactly. So I am here uh, going to try a couple different things, and so um, you know, I don't know how many times it's going to take to get this right, but you know what? I'm not going to quit. So, if y'all are interested in this, come on back. I'm going to see what I did next. Okay, if you all saw in a couple videos ago where I did the, uh, redid my, ba my van in my minivan micro camper, uh, I had previously used a lawn chair with uh, some lawn cushion, a lawn cushion in it. So, in that last video, I got a couple more thicker lawn cushions, and I put them all together to make the mattress, and I had uh, bought a, <clears throat> uh, just a camp cot, and put it in here, and put those uh, lounge cushions on top of that. So, um, I have had a chance, I'm going to turn the, the camera around here, you can see this, the sun's pretty bright. And I'm so thankful for the sun. So I took the main bedding off of it. So what I had done in the previous video is I put all these um, lounge, lounge chair cushions together. So, I mean, you're talking about a lot of foam there, y'all. But, and I, I kind of had a concern about this, but you see where the crease is in this. Even though I put this one, the, the thinner one, where the crease is to try to compensate for that. Uh, I had a chance here about, oh... Uh, Three weeks ago, I went on a trip, and uh, I stayed overnight on it, slept overnight on it, and, um, you know, it, it it worked, but, you know, after a while, uh, that seam, for me, it kind of felt, you know, it was sagging a little bit, and for me, it made it a little bit uncomfortable, and, you know, for a lot of people, that not might not be an issue. For me, it kind of was. Uh, I just have a thing about, I have to have super, super soft, um comfortable bedding um i don't know if it's where i'm old or or what or uh old and fat i don't know you guys <laughs> but um even though it looks like it it would do really good and it did when i sit on it and you know just lounged on it for a while sleeping on it all night it kind of kind of sagged and so i'm going to be doing a redo on this now the other issue if you remember i'll flip it around here which I didn't think it was going to be a show, and it really wasn't. If you can see uh, where, you know, because of the uneven flooring in the minivan, the back of the cot, back of the bed, goes uphill a little bit. Well, that wasn't a concern either because uh, I had actually put a little shim under the railing down there uh, to level it up, and I had put something back here uh, at the head to compensate for that so that was not an issue um at all for me it was simply just not enough padding or it, it just kind of failed so um the other thing um i had in mind to do was to uh see i thought that this caught i know that it folded down but you see this right here it folds down this way to fold for storage. It does not fold up. You can see that right there. It does not fold up the other way going upward here in a reclining position. So that's a problem for me too. One, because I thought that I could, you know, uh, move this up a little bit and put it in the reclining position like I did my lawn chair. So it does not do that. That's something I should have looked closer at at the... Um, packaging when I bought this but uh so I'm going to try a couple things first of all I have a, a self-inflating uh, air mattress it's really nice it's a thermo rest self-inflating air mattress recommended by the great Bob Wells <laughs> from Cheap RV Living who and I it's great it is great but I had put that in my camper van right? in my camper I have a little vintage travel trailer uh, more news on coming on that soon too but I had put that in there to uh, use for when it is sleeping two people. So now, one thing I'm going to try, and I'm sure that will work, is to put that self-inflating air mattress on this cot here. And it is super comfortable. I think that that will be fine. Um, the other thing I was going to try, 
and I know you can tell just by looking at this, it's too long to go crossways in my band. Even though I'm short, I can sleep, my, my height will fit across uh, crossways in this minivan, but this uh, cot will not. Uh, but I am gonna try to fold it down and see what happens there. Um, another thing is that I've got all the seats down, of course, in this van. So where you go in right here, the two, you know, it has two uh, uh, single seats here in the back. And then, of course, back, back back here was your bench seat. So it actually, you know, seats like seven. So these are stow and go seating. They're in the floor right now. So another thing I'm going to try is see how this cot would be folded down on each end, possibly, and make a bed, you know, this way, crossways, or do some other configuration with a bed crossways because that would give you a lot more room in the back. I'm going to try that. And another thing, y'all, so you may have heard me talk about um, another thing that I want to try is a fly-in, drive-out trip. Uh, actually, I've kind of already got it planned, uh, a route that I want to do out west. And because I can't take a tremendous amount of time off work to drive it, uh, I mean, it takes three days from where I am to drive out west and three days back plus whatever route I'm doing. So there's just no way I can do that at one time. So, um, I need to fly in and rent a minivan or um, even, you know, a, a certain kind of SUV. And I also want to look at putting, like, if you were leaving these two, if you were leaving these two seats here in the back up, I want to see what it would be like to put, like, a self-inflating mattress all the way across those to use for your bed. Um only problem is you know is 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 I, i'm pretty sure the one i've got is too long I, I i messed up and got an extra long when i should have got a regular that was my fault but anyway so i'm going to try a couple different things here and um i'll show you that so i'm going to get started i took the main bedding off of this and i am going to take these uh lounge chair cushions off because i can use them i could just switch out use that self-inflating air mattress in here and put these lounge cushions in the camper um, so I'm going to do that and I'll be back with you later. Okay, so I have all of the bedding off. I'm going to turn this around. Now, what I've done here, I have folded the top part down. I told you it didn't fold up in a reclining position, but it does fold down, which gives you a little bit of a, um, incline on the top. So it kind of does, in a way, it's in a little bit of a reclining position like that. So... Another issue was when I had it all the way out, when I had the camp caught all the way out full length, <clears throat> turn this around. Here's another issue that this would solve too if I leave it this way. So, sorry about my dog. He's going crazy over something. Um, so when I had it stretched all the way out, you see how it's right up against the, uh, the wall of the minivan here? Okay, well, when it goes up there to the top part, you know, next to the door, um, I had it I had it secured in at the bottom underneath here. I did have it secured in, but it would still, because of the difference in uh, it being right up against this wall here um, and not up there at the top, it would still, when I slept on it that night, it would still want to, the bottom of it wanted to come this way. You know, it wanted to slide this way. And so this, actually, even even with it secured, I had it bungeed underneath here, but even with that, it wanted to slide this way and kind of go catty-cornered on me, you know, after moving around and stuff. But now, <clears throat> this right here would solve that because it's all pretty much up against the wall of the, uh, of the minivan. So now in this case too, I moved over my storage unit at the bottom and I put, I brought this all the way down right now, but there's plenty of room. If you can see up there, if you can see there's plenty of room, I could bring that more toward the uh, front of the van if I want, but then I'm, if I do, I'm going to run into the same issue with it kind of moving around on me, sliding. So, I'm going to try a couple other things. Uh, I'm going to try it crossways here, like we talked about. Um, because in this configuration with this top part folded down, it would definitely go 
uh, crosswise. So I'm going to try that and I will, I will get back with you in a minute. <laughs> it's like a puzzle, you guys. It's like a puzzle. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have turned this around short ways. I'll show you this. Crossways. So here's getting in from the side door, passenger door here. And I still, you can see, I still got room to get back here if I did this. Uh, it's still, because I have the, the one end folded up here, it's in a reclining, somewhat reclining position. And that would still work. And I could still actually, you know, crawl through the middle to get back here uh, that really wouldn't wouldn't be a, a problem either because um, I definitely want to be able to get through um, you know from the console area here to uh, the back part of the minivan but you know the main the main issue here for me if I use this configuration is that um, I'm not going to be able unless I put my uh, like countertops and stuff long ways here i'm not going to be able to like sit here and uh, cook or you know get ready like i had it um basically like a galley type situation before with the bed on one uh you know lengthways on one side of the van and the countertops counters drawers storage that kind of thing on the other and that also you know left a space to um walk through the middle and that kind of thing so i really don't think that this is going to work um i'm going to try that inflatable mattress now i think it may be too long for this situation but i'm going to try that and i will be back in a moment okay i'm back so i've got the uh, self-inflating air mattress down here on the cot i'm going to show you flip this around okay so this is what it looks like here and to one of my viewers, there's a, there's a tag. I am going to take that off. <laughs> one of you commented, I was talking about the tags when I was little. I wouldn't take one of those tags off of anything for nothing, you know. Because <laughs> it says penalty by law. And this one does too. But you know, I'm going to take it off. I am. It was funny. So, um, once again, this is slightly uh, going that way, going downhill because of this floor. I probably later on will put uh, probably, you know, like a little piece of plywood to to go under those uh, those two um, railings there under this, uh, on the bottom of the um, camp cot. I think that will be fine, but I lay down on this, and I have slept on this, uh, and it is wonderful. This is a Thermarest, you can see that, it is a Thermarest self-inflating air mattress, and on Cheap RV Living, I, uh, Bob Wells recommended this, and that's what he sleeps on. Only thing is I got an extra long. And why did I do that? I mean, why did I do that? I'm only 5'3". I guess because Bob Wills did. <laughs> anyway, uh, it really, I mean, it's got plenty of room when I do stretch out on this. And it is a, uh, it's 25 inches wide, 77 inches long, and it is 4 inches thick. Now, you can adjust this. If you have ever tried a self-inflating air mattress, they are wonderful. And Thermarest is a great, great brand. And I love this. So... Uh, I think I'm going to go with this right now. Uh, I am still going to run into the trouble, though, a little bit of, you see how, let me turn this around. You see, you see down that way, the edge of the mattress is sticking over just a little bit to the left because of this wall here on the minivan, where the back side of the bed if I, if I leave it in the full length position, the back side of the bed, no matter what, is going to go up against the, um, the, the wall of the van here, and the upper side is not. Uh, so I've still got to play around with that a little bit. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but, you know, it would be better if it didn't, it didn't move around, or if this back end didn't slide around a little bit. Like I said, it's not that big a deal, but, um, this is something I guess I'll continue to be working with, but I guess I am going to keep this configuration. Uh, I am, you know, I was talking about my uh, future um, sleeping arrangements in a rental vehicle when I fly somewhere and rent a minivan or, or a SUV to sleep in. I'm going to use those back two seats or the bench seat. 
Uh, so I am going to get, I've been looking at self-inflating air pads that are compact. They're used for backpackers, uh, tent campers and that kind of thing. So for me, I would need that, I think, to, um, that would fit in a suitcase. So like when I deflate this, I could probably use this, but it's not as compact as the one I'm looking at. It's the one I'm looking at is specifically di designed for, uh, the compactness, the backpacking, um, you know, takes up a, a lot less space than this does. And it's also a thermal rest. It's kind of pricey, but I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. So anyway, I am looking at that. I'll keep you updated on that. I'm going to take that tag off and I hope the, I hope the police don't come and get me. But you guys, I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to put the bedding back on this and, uh, and we'll go from there. I'll give you a final view on that. But this is, I know this is going to be comfortable because I have slept on this several, several times in the, in the camper. Um, the only thing is it's a little bit too long if I was to use it crossways in another sleep situation. Okay, so I have got it all finished. Uh, I'm going to turn this around. So it looks about the same as, as the last video you saw. I mean, I went ahead and uh, went with the configuration, you know, with the, uh, with the cot long ways along, along that side of the minivan instead of crossways or anything like that i am just using this inflatable air mattress with a um fitted sheet on top of it just what i had before and i did forget to put my top sheet i gotta put my top sheet on there and then just put my comforter which i can lay on or cover up with and i've got my blankets down here all my pillows and still got room and everything under here everything's just like it was it's just that padding so like i said i've slept on this inflatable air mattress before and it is fantastic and so i know that's going to be comfortable so <laughs> the only other issue now i'm going to see if it uh <clears throat> if it will stay in place uh after securing you know trying to secure it a little bit better uh where it's a little bit off center where the um the the back the part of the cot the back part of the cot is hitting that uh, wall and then the front part is coming up where the door is where there is no so it moves around a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. My only concern now, so I think I've got that figured out, is that, you know, when I switched, when I did the first video on this about switching the bed from the lounge chair that I had to this cot, the lounge chair was just a little bit, it was about two inches narrower than this. This is 25 inches wide, and that uh, lounge chair was like 20, uh, I want to say, oh gosh, maybe it's just an inch. Uh, but, you know, when you're talking in this small space, every inch counts. And it was just a little bit narrower. So now, here's the issue. Turn this around. Can you see that? So my my drawers, where I once had them, and, you know, when I was using the lounge chair, I had them turned facing the bed. Um, and I would pull the drawers out that way. Of course, they're still, you know, still, of course, it come, couldn't come all the way out. But now, see, there's not enough room, even though there's still enough room to get through there. I've got some stuff in the back right now. But, um, <clears throat> so I I'm having to turn these drawers this way in order to uh, let them come open all the way. And two of them. So, now I'm thinking, you know, what am I... <sighs> If y'all have any ideas, please, and I'm going to be watching other uh, videos, YouTube videos. It's the cabin tree. You know, it's having to have something over here. Of course, you know, you've got your little uh, cubbies, you know, in the um, in the molded part of the minivan uh, wall there. So I've got some things there. But, you know, how to, uh, I've seen people come out and build, build off of that and that kind of thing. I don't want to do any builds in here. I'm really trying to do a, um, you know, because this is going to be a different vehicle at some point. So I don't want to do anything, any builds. It's going to be difficult to take apart. But <clears throat> something a little more substantial in here um, that wouldn't maybe move around as much. And um, narrower. I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to have to be a little narrower um, to give a little more room here between the bed and whatever I do put here. So I'm a little, I'm a little stumped. I'm a little stumped right now. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's a creative process. It is a learning process. And uh, so we'll see. And I'm all about trying to use what you have. You know, I don't want to buy anything, 
anything new if I don't have to, I'm trying to use what I do have and make it work. But um, we'll see. So anyway, at least I got this bed situation taken care of, and I know that it, it will at least be comfortable now. Uh, I have slept on this before, so anyway, that's plus. So we'll see how it does, and you guys stay tuned. I'll come back to you later and let you know an update on this, how it's going. Um, and if you have any comments, like I said, please share any ideas you might see for this and uh, what you've done maybe to to use as cabinetry in here, drawers and that kind of thing, other than, it, it all depends on the, the width, you know, how wide it's coming out um, and how narrow your drawers and stuff are. So anyway, any ideas are greatly appreciated. And so hope you guys are doing well. And, uh, you know, it can be a little aggravating sometimes <laughs> trying to make all this work, but it's kind of fun too. You know, you got to use your creative uh, juices to get this going and it's kind of fun but then you got you kind of like to get wore out with it but anyway we'll see how it goes and you guys stay tuned a lot of cool things coming up um gonna do uh some more uh i think the next thing probably it's gonna be coming up is some tests that i did while i was stealth camping up in ohio um on the ecoflow power max station my power station i tested a few items while i was on that trip so i've got some information on that and uh, anyway, lots of fun stuff coming up. So you guys stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. And remember, don't wait to live. See you down the road.